Hi, I'm Gene Benson. For our flight planning, either before a flight or while en route, we sometimes need to know what the pressure altitude is. The pressure altitude is not of any use alone, but is often necessary to determine takeoff or landing distances, among other things. In this very short video, we will see how easy it is to determine pressure altitude the old-fashioned way, with arithmetic. All we need to know is the airport elevation and the altimeter setting. For our example, we will use an airport elevation of 1,800 feet and an altimeter setting of 30.62. Compare the current altimeter setting to standard atmospheric pressure. Recall that standard atmospheric pressure is 29.92 inches of mercury. Let's say that the altimeter setting is 30.62. Since that number is greater than 29.92, we will place it on top so that we can subtract. Our result is, of course, 0 0.70. Next, we multiply the value obtained through our subtraction by 1,000. That's because a pressure change of 1 inch of mercury represents an altitude change of 1,000 feet. So we have determined that our pressure altitude is 700 feet different from field elevation. But is it higher or lower? Recall that higher pressure is found at lower altitudes. So in our example, our altimeter setting was higher than standard, so our pressure altitude will be lower than field elevation. Therefore, we subtract the 700 feet from our field elevation of 1,800 feet and determine that our pressure altitude is 1,100 feet. Let's look at another example. Our standard value, of course, is still 29.92. In this case, let's say that the current altimeter setting is 29.32. Since that number is smaller than the standard value of 29.92, we will put it on the bottom to subtract. Our result in this case is 0 0.60. Like before, we multiply the value obtained through our subtraction by 1000. So we have determined that our pressure altitude in this case is 600 feet different from our field elevation. We again recall that lower pressure is found at higher altitudes. So in this example, our altimeter setting was lower than standard, so our pressure altitude will be higher than field elevation. Therefore, we add the 600 feet to our field elevation of 1,800 feet and determine that our pressure altitude is 2,400 feet. So you see, it's really pretty easy. Thanks for watching.